ஐ எம் இசஸ் கே அன்பு செல்வி அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் வி வி வன்னி பெருமாள் காலேஜ் ஃபார் விமன் விருதுநகர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் டேட்டா கம்ப்ரஷன் விச் யூசஸ் ஹஃப்மேன்ஸ் ப்ரொசீஜர் விச் இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட்ஸ் கிரீடி டெக்னிக் வில் சி அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் அ டேட்டா கம்ப்ரஷன் கிவன் ஏ டேட்டா ஃபைல் இட் இஸ் டிசைரபிள் டு ஸ்டோர் த ஃபைல் in an efficient manner the problem of data compression is to find a method for encoding the data file a common way to represent the text file is in the form of binary character code in such a code each and every characters in the text files are represented in the form of code word now our aim is we have to construct an optimal binary character code where each characters which has a unique string and it is represented with least number of bits this can be achieved by huffman's variable length binary character code huffman developed a greedy based algorithm which produces an optimal binary tree and when we are traversing the binary tree we can obtain the binary character code and that code is named as huffman code now we are going to discuss about the high level version of the huffman's algorithm before going to discuss about the high level algorithm we are learn about the data structures which are used in this algorithm since we are constructing the binary tree and it is represented in the form of linked list we know that the linked list is a collection of nodes in this procedure each node which consists of four fields one is symbol another one is frequency and the two other nodes are link left link and right link the symbol field which represents a unique character in a file and the frequency which represents how many number of times that character which occurs in the file since it is a binary tree the node which points to left child and right child therefore we are having two left two links one is left link and right link initially the left link and right links are null and also another data structure is the linked list is represented in the form of priority queue in the priority queue the the node with highest priority is removed first here in this procedure the character with lowest frequency is treated as the highest one and when we are representing the linked list it is the method is efficient but when it is represented as a heap it is an optimal one now we will see about the high level version of the algorithm this algorithm which divided into two sections one is initial section and another one is processing section in the initialization section we have to learn about what are the variables and data structures and how they are initialized here n represents the number of characters the unique characters in the file and each node is represented in the form of four fields that which is represented as p arrow operator symbol that is a distinct character in the file p arrow operator frequency which specifies number of times it occurs in the file and initially the two link fields p arrow operator right and p arrow operator left is equal to null next we will move on to the processing section here the for loop which repeatedly executed n minus 1 times in the first step we are removing first two nodes from the priority queue and then we can create a new node and the symbol uh, the sorry the uh, the frequency of the uh, new node is the sum of the frequency of the first node and the second node here the first node is named as p and the second node is named as q therefore sum of uh, uh, p arrow operator frequency plus p arrow uh, q arrow operator frequency is equal to r operate arrow operator frequency now the new node is inserted into the priority queue and when we are inserting we can also follow the procedure of ordering the nodes that is from lowest frequency to highest frequency 
the process is repeated n minus 1 times that is removal of the first two nodes and creating the new node and it is inserted into the priority queue. Then when the priority queue which consists of only one node and it is the Huffman tree. Now after processing the for loop is over and we are removing the node which is in the priority queue and it is returned back to the calling procedure. Now we will see an example which constructs a Huffman tree and when we are traversing the Huffman tree we are getting the optimal binary character code. Here the problem which consists of four characters that is in our example the text file let us assume that which consists of only four characters the T with frequency 3, O with frequency 7, U with frequency 5 and A with frequency 9. Here this procedure which consists of two phases. In the first phase we are constructing the Huffman tree. In the second phase we are traversing the Huffman tree in order to obtain the optimal binary character code for each characters in the text file. Now we will move on to phase 1 that is construction of Huffman tree. So in our example we know that we are having only 4 unique characters. And the phase 1 is also building the Huffman tree. First we have to initialize the priority queue by having n pointers. All nodes are represented as a leaf node. Since we are having 4 characters in the priority queue, we are having 4 nodes and they are treated as a leaf node. The node content is the frequency of that character. So here the 4 character the as T, O, U, A and with frequency 3, 7, 5 and 9. In the same initialization process, we are arranging the nodes from lowest frequency to highest frequency. Therefore, the nodes are rearranged. Now, the priority queue which consists of the characters T, U, O and A with frequency 3, 5, 7 and 9. Now, we will move on to the processing sections that is removal of the first two nodes having minimum frequencies from the priority queue. And also we have to create a new node. And the new node, here in this example, we are having only 4 characters. The first 2 nodes with the frequency 3 and 5 are removed and the characters are T and U. And according to the high level version algorithms, the frequency of the first node and the second node are added and it is 8. And the first node is treated as the left child of the new node. And second node is treated as the right child of the new node. Now we are inserting this new node into our priority queue. And then uh, we have to arrange the nodes according to lowest frequency to highest frequency. Now in this stage we are having one output priority queue. The next since the priority queue which doesn't contains only one tree and we are having three pointers for, and then now we are removing first two pointers from the priority queue with frequency 7 and 8. Now create a new node and then add the frequency of the first node and second node and which is 15 and it is the frequency of the new node. Now insert the new node into the priority queue and apply the same procedure for arranging the nodes in an order from lowest frequency to highest frequency. Now the last stage that is the priority queue which consists of only two nodes. Now create a new node and with and add the frequency of the first node and the second node and which is 24 and it is the frequency of the new node. Now insert this one into the priority queue. Now the priority queue which consists of only one node and it is the Huffman tree. Now we will move on to second phase that is traversing the Huffman tree in order to obtain the optimal binary character code. And before this, before obtaining the character code, we have to assign the character code that is 0 and 1 into the Huffman tree. So the left child, for all the left child, we assign 0 and for all the right child, we are assigning 1. 
after assigning the code to each and every edge now we can traverse the huffman tree since we are having four characters unique characters and all the leaf nodes are represented the characters now in order to obtain the optimal binary character code for t we have to traverse from the root node and it is 1 1 0 and for the character o it is 1 0 and for the character u when we are traversing from the root node we can obtain the character code as 1 1 1 and the last unique character which is in the text file is a and its character code is 0 now the problem has solved thank you